Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hey, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to K-Drop and Gems. You're with Hadia K. I will be doing the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising now until the first week of October, baby. How are you? How are you? I have my love oils, clarity oils, money oils, prosperity protection kits that are also available to you. My yoni steam, three to four different flavors. My new feminine wash is also available to you. I have my sage, sugar scrubs as well. And my personal one-on-one -on -one readings are also available, okay? If you guys are interested, you guys can email me and we can go ahead and get started. So... Let's see what's going on. We're going to start off with Aries. If you are new to the channel, hey, 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 what's up? Okay, go ahead and like this video. Turn on that red button right there, right there. Turn on the notifications as well. Subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified and you are welcome into the family, baby. All right. So Aries, Aries collectively, Aries collectively, sun, moon, rising. So I'm rising now until the first week of October 2019. What information do I have at this time? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be the best soul. All right. My Aries baby. Let's see. Okay. So, the Eight of Wands of Earth. I definitely feel like Aries, there's a lot of people, you may not be, um, this is you withdrawing from a lot of people. This can be you uh, not really spending a lot of time with a lot of people. This can also be if this was some type of competition or conflict. You don't have time for it. You're not dealing with people. You're not dealing with naysayers. You're not dealing with people that don't see your vision or see who you are. This can also be you telling uh, if you have a partner or if your partner has a lot of suitors, you're like, look, cut all these bitches off. Look, cut all these dudes off, okay? So... I definitely see that the justice reverse is like a fair decision being made. You weigh the pros and cons. You know that you need to cut off and walk away from something, okay? And I feel like you guys are realizing that you do need to cut something off, a habit, um, emotional situation, a thought process, an ideology, or you guys need to walk away from a situation in total, a person, a habit as well, overindulgence in smoking, drinking, sex, eating, shopping, or like I said, this is something that you may need to change or something that you may need to walk away from. The page of wands and the world card, things are happening the way that it needs to. You're feeling more peace, more content. You're also focusing more on your foundation. You're feeling more uh, vibrant, more jovial as well. You're also uh, more studious or there's like some type of, um, there's some type of offer of love or offer of stability here that makes you feel complete or makes you feel like things are happening the way that it needs to, like things are falling into place. The star reverse, but there is some type of wish that you guys are not getting or something is not going the way that you expect it to. The five of swords reverse, you guys are letting go of some type of deception or letting go, go of third party situations. Anything that was shady, shady, shisty, lying, cheating, any type of shady, uh, shady behavior. You're just cutting it out. You don't have time for it, okay? The nine of pentacles reverse and the seven of pentacles. So I definitely feel like you guys are not happy with the job, with the occupation, the money, the hours, the pay that you're getting, but you're happy that you do have a job or that you are able to make money. The seven of pentacles can also be you're happy with security or happy that you're able to take care of yourself, like you're, you're able to have money, okay, that you're able to work and have some type of money in a bank, like literally, okay? Even though you may have have, um, even though you may have have, I repeated myself twice. So even though you may have some type of financial hardships or you guys might be feeling a lack thereof when it comes to finances, or you guys may be feeling like you don't have enough hours or you don't have enough pay or you don't have enough money. Okay, the seven of pentacles is you having to build yourself or build, your, build some type of stability, okay? <clears throat> Aries collectively, thank you, sir. Thank you for allowing me to be the vessel for my Aries. Thank you. To a Gabriel, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So there's two, two, two. You guys can definitely be getting, um, be with your divine feminine, divine masculine, or you guys can be being around people that really share your vision or see you for who you are. This is also balanced structure. A lot of you guys can be really needing to make some type of choices that are very bold, okay, that are very, like, daring. Like, you only you are going to make this decision, right, because it's your life. So it's kind of like don't let people run your life. Don't let people dictate your life. You are you for a reason, okay? So it's definitely, like, maybe you guys are really wanting to take some type of trip near water or there's a beach, 
Okay, some of this can be, you guys can be in a same-sex relationship, others of you is just heterosexual. You guys can be angelically guided to follow your path or go forth um, with this person or with these friendships, with these people, okay? Leo, my lovely Leo, sun, moon, rising. My lovely Leo, sun, moon, rising now until the first week of October. Leo, collectively, thank you. Thank you, spirit. Now until the first week of October. I'm going to take this. All right. The hair font. So, this is definitely Taurus energy. A lot of you guys are really asking yourself, what do you value your morals? Like, what do you want to bring into this new experience, your new cycle? What do you want for your new life? What do you, what do you, what's important to you? What friends are important to you? What situations are important to you? Who do you value? Who do you uh, put on some type of standard? What do they mean to you? Okay. This has to do with your belief systems, religion, your job, a family dynamic, um, your children, your life in general, the lovers. This is such a pretty card. So I definitely see that there's some type of relationship that you guys can be. It's like someone is like intimacy. I see into you, you see into me. The lovers is also someone that you can have been connected with or um, that you're dealing with, that you see. or It's a lot of passion. It's a lot of love. It's a lot of joy blessing okay so it's a lot of passion it's a lot of joy when it comes to this situation when it comes to this person okay there's a lot of actions being taken as well this is also you moving forward okay this is also you understanding that there's a relationship um I'm, I'm getting um you guys you see how they're grown the lovers is grown the two of cups is like playful like childlike energy so i feel like the lovers like you knew this person for a long time you guys know each other for a long time the three of wands is like blessings in disguise okay there's actions that are being taken towards a relationship or towards this union here i do see the page of pentacles reversing someone feeling like it's like an opportunity for financial uh progress or something something was turned down or something got denied here the ten of wands reverse i feel like you may be taking uh you may be releasing some type of obligations or responsibilities when it comes to taking care of other people or, uh, in general, just other situations. You're like, I don't have time for it. If it's not going to be beneficial, then I'm not really putting my time and energy into it. The King of Cups, uh, sorry, the King of Pentacles is you really focused on your stability, focused on your finances as well, building yourself. I'm also getting this, this like, you guys definitely are looking at someone. You guys have your eye on some, someone as well. You're very grounded. Or you guys can be looking at someone like they're very grounded, okay? You guys know what you want, the Queen of Wands. You guys know which way you want to go. You guys know which way you want to communicate or how you want to express yourself, how you want to show A, B, and C. The Queen of Wands is also passionate. So this is like someone knows when knows what they want when it comes to love, when it comes to their life. And it's like they're ready to show you. They're ready to give it to you. Or this is you ready to give it to somebody, okay? So the Ace of Swords is some type of communication, the Ace of Swords is some type of communication. So I feel like there's some type of communication that comes in or there's some type of communication here that you maybe feel like is not balanced, not harmonious, or if someone feels like something is imbalanced, something is not harmonious, or someone is holding back their finances, uh, not their finances, but how they feel. The Ace of Swords reverse. Someone has, like, withdrawn. Someone has stopped speaking or stopped showing how they feel someone wanted something new but it's like they didn't say something or someone didn't say something the eight of swords someone's feeling stuck as well someone's feeling stuck like a mental illusion or stuck in a situation bound to a certain situation king of cups and emotion they're feeling like they need to master their emotions someone's needing to master their emotions so leos i feel like you need to master your emotions because i feel like whoever you're trying to whoever you're going towards they know what they want or this is you okay but i feel like Whoever you are dealing, whoever you're dealing with, it's a relationship or someone that you know, like you're comfortable with. There's blessings here. I feel like there's some type of offer of stability here, of growth, of building something. And I feel like someone, whoever you're dealing with, they're very focused on their finances. They're very focused on building themselves. Someone knows what they want already. And I feel like that's why you're stuck. 
because someone wants something balanced. Someone wants something that's 50-50. And I feel like maybe you're stuck because you're you're trying to figure out how you're going to master your emotions or how you're going to say something, how you're going to express A, B, and C, okay? Um, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. This can be two different people. So you could be different dealing with two different men, two different women. Because there's two men and there's a relationship. And then there's a queen energy. So there can be a relationship or there's someone that you want to be with. But I feel like there's either two people in your life that one person, whoever you're dealing with, one person is very emotionally mature, is able to express themselves, okay? And the other per the other person is financially stable, or this can just be the characteristic of this person. They're very stable, they're very emotionally mature, okay? They have long hair. Because the queen on wands, you see they have long hair. This can be a weave, this can be braids, this can be locks, this can be curls. And you see here, this is a different, in the lovers, this is a different woman. It's a darker hair color. She looks younger. Like, it's more of a fit. So, what I feel is that, Leo, you're going to be connecting with your divine feminine, divine masculine. There's going to be some com communication. And I feel like off of this communication, you're going to know what you want when it comes to this love or this relationship. Um, there's going to be some, there needs to be some clear communication about uh, balance, about harmony, about peace, about what you guys both expect. But I do feel like you guys are also expressing yourself. If you guys are having to choose, Leo, I definitely see that you guys are making some type of choice based off of like how someone makes you feel or how someone uh, how you feel it, this will impact you or impact your life. Yeah. Leo, collectively. All right, I'm going to take this. Seven of Michael. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So a lot of you guys are working alone or doing something alone when you need to be in a partnership. A lot of you guys may feel like at this time you want to be in a relationship and it's like, yeah, you need to be in a relationship, you know, um, and it's not you need to, but it's like maybe you may have been working on some type of idea or something. It's like that you two work better together. OK, maybe you know that, but some of you guys are not wanting to say something or not wanting to communicate. OK, this can also be if it is some type of job or some type of uh, something to do with uh, occupation. You may be working or doing something alone and you're really needing some type of partnership or you're really needing someone uh, to help you or to assist you in your creative ideas. OK, seven is also conflict challenges. So this can also be you getting some type of you feel like there's some type of conflict or challenges when it comes to a fork in a roll. Like it's like you're at a fork in a roll and you're having to make a decision. Should I go here or should I go here? If I choose A, this is what's going to happen. If I choose B, this is what's going to happen. So I feel like you're going to have to ask yourself what you want to do. And it's funny that I said that and I see the three of wands. So if you look at the three of wands and then you see the seven of Michael here, it's both windy roads, right? So it's definitely a path that you have to take and you have to ask yourself what path you want to take. Do you want to take the path with blessings or do you want to take the path with conflict? A lot of you guys may have been dealing with conflict for like the past uh Three to eight years, three to eight months, okay, when it comes to a relationship, when it comes to some type of financial situation, when it comes to uh, your overall life or thought process. And I feel like you're needing to realize that there's pe that there's someone that can help you. Maybe some of you guys are needing to get a reading from me as well, just to get like a word cleanse. Maybe you guys are really needing to cleanse yourself, detox your energy, especially if this has to do with a lover. Maybe you guys are really needing to express yourself. So get my clarity reading. A lot of you guys need to get my love oil reels, okay? Express yourself. Whether this is two men, two women, you glitter, whatever, okay? Express yourself because I feel like that there's someone that you really do have deep feelings for. And a lot of this can be alleviated when it comes to either ego, pride, okay? Or someone feeling like they don't know how to say something. 
whether it's you or someone else, okay? Sagi, Sagittarius, collectively, time stamp. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be the vessel for my lovely Sagittarius. Now, until the first week of October, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be the vessel for my Sagittarius. Now, until the first week of October, thank you. Thank you. All right. Ten of Cups. Okay, Sag, what's going on? You got emotional fulfillment. You happy? You joyful? You happy with what's going on in your life? Mother, father, child, family dynamic, a relationship, a person that you're dealing with, your boo, your bae? Who? What's going on? So I definitely feel like you guys are very um you guys are very emotionally sensitive at this time. You guys can be very in tune with your family or in tune with how people are feeling at this time. I definitely feel like the nine of swords is you being you taking the rest that you need to, okay? A lot of you guys can be um, working or doing things, and it's like you need to take rest or rejuvenate. Make sure you recuperate your energy, okay? You guys have made a decision. You guys have healed from situations that people may have, people may have thought that if they did this to you, it was like you was never going to come back or you was never going to um, level up out of some type of situation. And the Ten of Swords is reverse is like you realize and like, I healed. I did this. Look at what I did. Look at, look, I turned ash into diamonds. Like, look, look what I did. Like, and I feel like a lot of you guys are really feeling very, um, you guys are really feeling very excited, okay? The strength reverse and the ace of pentacles with the seven of swords, the two of swords. Okay, so I definitely see that there's some type of, um, some of you guys are wish are wondering whether you should move forward here when it comes to some type of situation or some type of offer. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles is a new offer here, a new sense of stability. Could be with a Libra Gemini Aquarius, could be a Leo, could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Strong strong Capricorn Aquarius, Leo, Libra Gemini Aquarius energy, okay? So just be mindful of any new offers that's coming towards you, Sagittarius. Um, when it comes to either like a new job or a new something, okay? The Seven of Swords is also gossip. So I'm also getting the strength reverse is like you're wanting to move forward when it comes to something. You're making the coins. And I feel like the Seven of Swords is gossip. Like people could be gossiping about you because you're making a fair decision here. You're not, you're, you know that by you looking at things and lack or still thinking in this in this um, manner of things are happening like this, like this, like this, when you reprogram your mind, you realize that you have the power. You change your you change your emotions. You're making logical decisions for yourself. You're transforming yourself. You're going through a transformation, a rebirth. Okay, you guys don't have time for third party situations or people that are not giving you the time of day. The seven of swords is definitely communication. So I definitely see Sagittarius. You guys are making some type of money. Okay, there's people around you that's not happy that you are stable, that you're feeling good within yourself. Okay, I definitely see that you are cutting off toxic things. This is what it is. You're cutting off toxic things. Could be a Capricorn. This can also be any toxic behavior or any uh, thought processes. Thought processes addictions, habits, um, emotional baggage, okay, codependency, things like that, Capricorn, okay, things that you feel tied or bound to, you're letting that go, okay, things are also being illuminated to you, the star reverse, this can be an Aquarius, okay, so an Aquarius can be feeling unfulfilled here as well, um, but I'm also getting, you can be realizing that Aquarius is toxic, okay, some, you're realizing something about a person that's 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 significant here you guys can be a single mother a single father the sun card is leo so someone can also be um coming towards you wanting to procreate this is having a baby having a newborn this could be an unexpected child 
this can be um, you feeling very happy as well, feeling very joyful, happy around the people that are around you, or you having a new sense of self, childlike, playful um, energy. The sun card is like I said, you're feeling more happy, you're feeling more expressive, okay? The truth is also coming out. You made a fair decision. You're going into new energy, new experiences, Sagittarius. This is amazing. You're juggling two different ways of making money. You're doing this miraculously. You can have two jobs and a business, two, two to three different things that you're doing to make money, and it's it's going, okay? The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands with the sun, this is definitely a child. So you guys can definitely be expecting a child, okay? If not now, then definitely, like, this is definitely saying someone's wanting to have some type of relations with you. Maybe this is like a committed relationship, a marriage. Someone's wanting to start a relationship or start something here. Okay, and I feel like the end result is like a child. That's really what I'm saying. <clears throat> Some of you guys were brought together to procreate this child, okay? And I feel like there's some type of message. Someone's coming toward you here with a message, the Knight of Wands. Someone may have been in and out of your life here. The Four of Cups, you're looking at the past, or you're looking at one thing instead of looking at all the things in the back of you. The Three of Cups, I do feel like there's some type of emotional fulfillment, Sagittarius. You're going through some type of emotional fulfillment here. But I do feel like you guys can be unhappy, especially if you are. Uh, the Empress Reverse is like you can be unhappy here with how things are going when it comes to, um, let's see. Yeah, so I feel like you guys can be unhappy when it, if you're if you're pregnant, okay, you guys can be unhappy with how things are going when it comes to the father, your child, the lack thereof, things are happening the way that it needs to, and I feel like you're going into calmer waters, but you can be still a little bit upset, or um, you could be kind of trying to figure out what what emotionally makes you happy here, and I feel like you're having to go with them, but I feel like you may not be, you may be trying to be around a lot, a lot of people instead of um, look to what is hurting you or what is going on at this time. The unknown card is unknown situations that are happening here because I feel like a relationship isn't seeing eye to eye or two people just aren't seeing, like, it's not working. Maybe you guys may have um, dealt with each other for four weeks, four months, four years. Okay, the four bonds of risk is like, someone feels like this isn't working or it's not balanced or it's not going to give them uh, the 50-50. The Okay, others of you, I'm definitely getting that the Empress of Earth is you guys are uh, wondering. This is a mother figure, like a mother-in-law. So I feel like the Empress of Earth, you may not be pregnant. This might be somebody else. This can be someone else that's a mother, okay, a Libra or a Taurus, okay. Someone can be upset at you, okay, because their relationship didn't work out with the person that you're with, but... The person that's with you, Sagittarius, they're working it out with you. Like, they're making it right with you. But the person that is carrying their child or has their child is upset because the relationship didn't work out. And maybe you've seen this or maybe this is something that was told to you. Maybe you're also realizing that some type of relationship isn't working out with someone else's relationship, okay? And I honestly feel like Sagittarius... You guys are going into major new energy. You guys have new experiences on the line. There's, of course, there's people that are going to try. Okay. The devil, I'm also getting that this can definitely be like. You guys wanting, to, you guys are wanting something and you get it. Like the sun card, the ace of wands, the fool. This is all made ace of pentacles. This is all like. Major, major, major arcana. 11, 11, 1, 1, 10, 10. You guys are going into new energy and at the same time wrapping up old cycles. So it's like you guys are realizing what's not needed and then you guys are going into everything that's needed for you. You guys stop thinking a lot and then it shifts into everything that you want. And it's like you're getting, I don't, I'm just also getting, there's just going to be some expecting blessings. Like just be, be ready for it. Be ready for all the things that are coming toward you, okay? Because it's so amazing, it's so beautiful. Congratulations as well for you, newfound mothers, newfound fathers, your marriages as well, um, for getting promoted or going deeper into your craft or, you know, getting another job, getting a high paying job, things like that. A lot of new things are really coming for you guys. And I love it. Peace, love, and light. Ashe. I love you like I love myself. Let me go ahead with the angel card. 
Sagittarius collectively, thank you, Spirit. Sagittarius collectively for now until October. Now until o the first week of October. Asa Gabriel, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. Asa Gabriel to me is like Asa Pentacle, which is also like a pregnancy. Like, I keep, I, I want to say that in the Ace of Wands is like sex, is like relations. So I feel like the Ace of Gabriel is like, um, your sacral chakra. This is also a gift of passion, like a new opportunity that you guys are going into. You guys are starting something new. This is a new idea. You guys are really feeling inspired. This can also be travel. You guys can be going on some type of trip, going in water or in nature. This is also, you guys have a lot of, uh, there's gifts that you guys have, Sagittarius, and I feel like you guys are really, um, People are seeing you. I feel like if you if you saw that people weren't seeing you in the last uh, month or two, there's going to be a shift. A lot of people are going to see you. A lot of people are going to see you for what you do, for who you are, okay, is what I'm hearing. Peace, love, and light. Ashe, I love you. I love you like I love myself.